Hey, how's it going, folks? This is Felix from NYYNews.com. I'm going to start uploading videos on my own channel, NYY Felix, because the other channel, the other channel is going to be rebranded for Pete because people were used to him on that channel. So I'm just going to rebrand on mine so like that people can't get confused. So let's get to updates on Manny Machado because a lot of people want to hear about this. Joe Sherman of the NY Post is becoming one of my favorite writers because he's always on point. He's putting out hints now that the Yankees are willing to trade David Robertson. Obviously, that's a hint for the Orioles. They need a closer, okay? Obviously, this deal is going to get done. People might think it sounds crazy. It sounds funny. But let's see who gets the last laugh. It's not a egotistical thing to say. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but if you have seen my history about predicting where players are going to move, I have a good track record. It's nothing against other people, but sometimes you got to toot your own horn because you get comments like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, like new people that have no idea who I am or what I do, how many years I've been writing for the Yankees, etc. Sometimes you just have to give yourself some props. And sound like a narcissistical, egotistical maniac. Yeah, I admit it. But you have to say things like that when the Yankees are so close to acquiring Manny Machado and people don't believe you. So Joel Sherman of the NY Post wrote, The Yankees, to some degree, because they are the Yankees, remain linked to store-level players such as you, Darvish, via free agency, and Manny Machado through trade. And as the John Carlos Stanton acquisition proved once again, never say never with this organization. This is where Joel Sherman speaks my language. Duh, they're the Yankees. They are one of the most richest sports franchises in the world. You're going to tell me people that are invested with the Yankees don't want to see I don't know, the Yankees have a great team to make profit off of. You're going to tell me that you don't have people like that saying, hey, you got to make these moves and that move to put asses into the seats so we could actually make a gajillion dollars off of our original investment. You got to think like Joel. You got to think like Joel. <laughs> Spanish and uh, English name right there, Joel, Joel. So, yeah. He's speaking my language. He's including David Robertson in this article. He's saying that he might get moved. He's saying that one of these closers the Yankees have might get moved. Duh. It's a signal to the Orioles. What other team wants closers? What other team do the Yankees want to trade with? I mean, it's common sense. They have to fill in a void at third. What third baseman... Of a team that needs a closer. A third baseman that the Yankees want. That needs a closer. What other team? The Baltimore Orioles. What other team has a third baseman. That the Yankees would want to trade for. Oh yeah the Baltimore Orioles. Can you name any other major league baseball team. That's willing to trade a third baseman. In exchange for a closer. What other team? Oh, yeah, the Baltimore Orioles. People have to pay attention to the PR, the public relations, how these articles, how these rumors are started. Heyman writing about Machado. You think that was by mistake? That was getting the ball rolling. People have to pay attention to that. People have to stop saying that people that say Manny Machado is going to become a Yankee in 2018 are crazy. Imagine if I made a video back in July about John Carlos Stanton being a Yankee. Go visit our, our Twitter, NYY Insider. I retweeted it so you guys could see. Imagine if I made a video saying the Yankees were going to get John Carlos Stanton due to the fact that the Yankees were going to bail out the Marlins because the MOB told them so. Imagine if I made a video like that. I would have been crucified. I would have been hung so people got to stop with, oh yeah, because they didn't read it somewhere. 
It's not true. Some people just know how to analyze stuff. And again, yes, I'm sounding like an egotistical, narcissistic scumbag. Yes, I agree. But you have to talk like this. You have to get your point across in life. If you believe something, say it. It doesn't matter if the response is going to be negative. So yes, I believe still Manny Machado will become a Yankee. 70% chance of it happening. Period. They're going to bail out the Orioles. And what I mean by bailing out the Orioles, giving them something for Manny Machado because they're not going to get crap for him. The Orioles are not going to get nothing for Machado. They're going to lose him to free agency. Because teams know he's going to be signed by the Yankees anyways in 2019. And like I said, the gains for the Yankees are going to be dollar signs. Period. That's what they're going to get in return. They're not making money off the prospects they're going to trade. All we need is Glaber Torres. That guy's going to be a beast. Plug him at second base, please, already. That guy's going to be an all-star. Maybe, possibly, rookie of the year. I'm happy with that. As for our pitching prospects, once the Yankees traded Caprillion, that's it. There's no looking forward to our future when it comes to pitching. Sure, people might say uh, Sheffield is the real deal. Whatever, we don't know. But Caprillion is going to haunt the Yankees. You remember all the good A's pictures of the early 2000s? He's going to be one of those pictures that haunts us come playoff time. That guy's way better than Sonny Gray. That's another deal. I said, what are the Yankees doing? What are the Yankees doing? And no, Sonny Gray is not going to become great as a Yankee. He doesn't have power stuff. He's just going to get wrecked, continuously wrecked, in Yankee Stadium in the AL East. So, pay attention to what's coming out about the Yankees training David Robertson. They're absolutely stacked with closer material. Pay attention. This is a sign to the Orioles saying, hey, we got everything you need. And we got our writers in the inside putting out propaganda for us. I mean, people keep saying, oh, why is uh, Felix so political with this stuff? Um, duh is inside baseball. I'm talking realistically. I'm talking about what really goes down behind the scenes, right? So a lot of people are hyped about the chance of Manny Machado becoming a Yankee for 2018, rightfully so. People want to complain about all oh, the prospects we're going to give away. What would you do? Oh, be greedy with your prospects. Let another major league team suffer and not get anything for a player. Let the MOB crumble. No, the Yankees are going to be generous, okay? And in return, the MOB is going to show the Yankees them dollar signs because they will be front and center everywhere you see baseball, period. So this has been Felix for NYYNews.com. Subscribe to my new channel, NYY News Felix. Thank you for the support. I'll check you out next time.